Welcome back to the Break of It channel, and it is the end of the year, well, almost the end of the year, but this is where we can kind of reflect on all the sets of this year and kind of get uh, a little bit of a top 10 video, but this is a, actually a top 5 video. Anyway, this is the top 5 LEGO sets of 2023 that we currently own, and one also special mention. So Dave, first let's address the elephant in the room here. What is that haircut? <laughs> You look classy. I don't look classy. Look <laughs> anyway, like an idiot, a village idiot. I think the fifth one is the fighter plane chase set from the Indiana Jones line. This came out in April. Kind of a small set. It's the smallest set I think we have on this list. Really reasonably priced. I did a whole review on it, so you can go check that video out. Um, it'll be in the description, all the reviews. I basically reviewed everything on this list besides a select few of them. So anyway, go check that out. But just in a we Why never watched that movie. No. We were gonna watch yeah. all of them, yeah. and then go see it in the theater. How did that get by us? I don't know, but it probably because it bombed. <laughs> and dialogue. And they took it off after that. about three days. <laughs> anyway, but really liked the set. Awesome set, and it kind of was our first time in a long time in about a decade of getting anything World War II related, so that was tight to see. Number four, oh, stinky number four, is the A frame cabin, which we haven't built yet, but we do have it. We do have it. Um, possession is nine tenths of the law. Yes. In this case, nine tenths of possession. <laughs> I think I'm possessed. Get out, get out, no. Anyway, um, number three is the Viking Village. Oh, baby, this is a good one. Yeah. Top three. Th th these are just some of the best sets of Lego of all time. All time. Not just this year. But um, the Viking Village. You Ooh. can go back to when Lego was just wood. Wooden yeah. stuff. Yeah. We're talking epic yeah, sets. the duck. If you know what I speak. Anyway, sure. but uh, the Viking Village just awesome. Did a full review on that. Um, Anyway, but it's just amazing, incredible figures, the detail and everything, just how many pieces, the price, it was only like $120, you go, go, got over 2,000 parts. Um, anyway, it was Plus just it's stellar. Viking stuff. It's Vikings, yeah, who doesn't like Vikings? I mean, come on. Yeah, no, it was great. You talk great. about testosterone, when you talk about manly stuff, <laughs> it doesn't get any more of that, any of that than Vikings. I'm just, I'm serious. What if you're possessed? I'm ready to go kill somebody right now. <laughs> That's a Our problem. Pillage. That's a problem. Um, anyway, I, I want to take a boat to England and like pillage a monastery or something or other. Sorry to everybody who's at those monasteries right now. Um, anyway, but just an incredible set. But number two might even just be a bit better. The El Dorado Fortress. Ooh, a classic throwback to the 1989 Pirate Wave. This set is incredible. Oh man, it's just awesome. You got that very islandly kind of vibes. There is a review out. You got that tiny ship that comes with it. It's just so great. And I know in that video I did say that I was going to have, um, that I was going to build another ship and some more ships um, to go along with that. That is not in the works, but it's going to be done. So anyway, but that is, <laughs> I don't like it when you look at me like that. It's going to be done. Yeah, it's going to be done. You're going to be done before you get it done. <laughs> Anyway, but El Dorado Fortress is just great. I love the minifig selection in that. Um, I love the details, the colors, just everything about that was great. Before we get to the number one pick, which you guys probably already know this, but um, our honorable mention, which we haven't purchased yet, but we're going to, it's is the list. Orient Express, baby. Oh, that is a good one. That dark blue color scheme. Now, I personally don't have a major attachment to the movie, because isn't it from the Polar Express, or am I totally? I think so. That's a good movie. Yeah. You should watch it. I've watched it. I just you have? forgot it, like in the second grade. It's a good show. Yeah. Well, anyway, I think that's what it is, um, but I just really like the train. So. And we're going to upgrade it. We're going to get, well, we got track. Really? We're going to get a motor, and we're going to motorize that locomotive, and we're going to be sending it all around the farm. But um, number one. Hands down. No question. Yep. Unequivocally. Yes. The Lego. The best set. Lord of the, of the Rings, Rivendell. Holy crap. And yes, Rivendell, not Rivendale. Okay. Dale. Dale. I got a comment um, recently with it. Um, it said Rivendale, um, you know, making fun of me because I said it Rivendell in there, not Rivendell. So anyway, there you go. But Rivendell, just an amazing, amazing set. The best minifigure selection out of 
any Lego set out there. Tons of new parts, new molds even. They had like the that was the debut of the fern piece. Just some awesome stuff. Some tons sweet building of techniques. Printed details and the building techniques were out of this world good. Um, I haven't seen out of all the other sets that has been that has just been the most one that's just stellar in my opinion. Just absolutely stellar above everything else Lego has ever made. Above any and toy I've ever seen, it's just awesome. I might add, in building it, yes. there was just something sweet and satisfying. I mean, you were just giddy with Juicy. excitement. Juicy every time you put a piece together. It went, just made you want to oh, smile. Yeah. I mean, it just it, it, it had so much relief and so much just like <laughs> it's just awesome when you just. We need to go buy just, another one. You, well, I want to get three, but um. Anyway. Three. Yeah. All right. One for investment. Yep. One in case the one you have gets lost or stolen or whatever. Yep. Okay, I understand that. Yeah. One is one is none. Two is one. And three, you can really feel comfortable and yep. safe. I got it. Yeah. Anyway, but um, but yeah, that is the best set of the year, um, hands down, no questions asked. Just absolutely incredible. Um, so there you go. That's our top five list, and that's pretty much all the Lego sets we bought of this year too. Um, there's a couple other sets that are pretty good, but I don't know. We bought more than that. I mean, every time there was the a jazz new, club? new release day, we were no. in line there an hour early. The only things I can think of on the top of my head was Jazz Club, and then that one little Star Wars set that we bought, uh, set you picked up this year. What do you think is the best set of the year? Um, if you say anything other than Rivendell, you are objectively wrong, but, you know, that's fine. Um, be sure to hash it out in the comment section down below. Um, thanks for liking, subscribing, and if you wanted to support me directly, not just by watching the videos, you can go to brickavig.com and pick you up some awesome minifigures. And yes, there's going to be more stuff coming. It's in the works right now. The parts just came in. We made a kind of expensive order to get a lot of those parts, so it's going to be really tight. Um, and we're doing restocks as well. So, yes, a lot of good stuff coming to the website, but uh, go check it out. Uh, without further ado, thank you guys for watching, and goodbye.